right, good Sunday morning to you guys. So it's been a few days since I've been in the woods here, and uh, this is a place that I found. Um, I think I did a video, actually I did two videos here, and uh, one of them was about let's band together and have a little something like uh, let's clarify. So these woods here are just incredible, and I thought, you know what, I need to come back and put a trail camera in. So what am I doing today on a Sunday morning early? It's probably 6.40ish. Sun's kind of peeking through, but it's very overcast today. Uh, it's supposed to be nice, but anyway, uh, I worked last night, like I mentioned, and I'm going to get up here. My stand that I have uh, chosen is probably, I want to say it's probably like 200 yards off this little gravel road here. So uh, let me show you what I got to take up in the woods, and uh, we'll get this video started, guys. All right, so you can see I've got my Cuddyback trail camera, my bear box, and my drill, and I also have a driver for it because uh, I want to put these, uh, the, I want to put my my camera in a bear box and I want to make sure that the bear doesn't knock it off because there is definitely bear up here, I saw plenty of sign. Oh yeah, and of course, the old Glock 20. Well, I just ran off two pretty good sized deer. They both look like doe, but it's hard to tell. They were, it's still green, so it's kind of hard for me to look through the you know the greenery and see all the uh tell you I'm running um you know if there's any horns or not but this trail camera will definitely uh have a telltale sign of what they were now um so this trail camera I have a cutty back a model 1156 and for a long time I couldn't use it because it seemed like every time I would mess with it it would uh take pictures but all the pictures were black. It would never work. Has that ever happened, y'all? Well, I took it to work, and we I upgraded the firmware. And even before I did that, it seemed to work right, which was kind of crazy. I don't know if it's the batteries were just bad or something, because when I changed the batteries this go around, it said 10%. Anyway, I'm just curious. I absolutely love being in the woods first thing in the morning like this. It's something, I don't know, it's so peaceful. Except when those deer took off crashing into the woods kind of spooked me a little bit because I was trying to be quiet for whatever reason because I'm going to be loud here in a few minutes with that impact wrench uh, putting the uh, bear box on the tree so hopefully I will be able to show you guys some pretty nice pictures of some deer possibly some bear but I hope not I hope the bear are out of here <laughs> I doubt that well after a few minutes of hiking in here I finally got to my destination now I'm going to show you there's this trail that I'm kind of standing near the trailer goes down, the trailer goes that way, the trailer goes that way, and the trailer goes this way, and they all neck down to this one spot going to this creek. I'm assuming, for, you know, for them to get water or whatever. All right, so there's the one main trail. There is a branch trail. Here it comes up and goes that way. The trail that I'm now standing on is right here, and then there's another little branch trail that goes up through there. Quite a few trails in here. And they all lead down into this, uh, into the creek right there. There's, if you go down, there, there's no water right here, but over there, there's a little bit of water. So I think that's where they're all heading to. Okay, so I got the trail camera set up finally, and uh, I'll show you that it's picking me up. See that red? That red light means that it's uh, working, and I pretend like I was a deer. I don't know why I was doing that. <laughs> kind of like I don't crawl on my fours. But I act like I am, and uh, it's caught me on every trail, so I think that's a good spot. I'm going to brush it in a little bit and uh, show you. And I don't try not to brush it in too much um, for the simple fact that sometimes when I brush it in too much, the leaves will actually fall in front of the sensor, and then I'll take pictures of whatever I brush it in with. So as you see behind me, the sun's finally peeking its way through. I've got the trail camera set up, um, what I consider to be brushed in. Now, there's not a whole lot of options for me to put anything on here so I did the best I could uh, one thing I am gonna do next time is um, spray paint my lock so it's not silver and what you see I'm gonna show you what I did to it and uh, you know once those leaves die well, hopefully they'll stay there long enough for me to get a few pictures but here's here's what it looks like now you definitely don't have to do any of that stuff um, I just chose to do it and uh, I'll make sure picture 
Oh yeah, I just heard a click. So, of course, that clicking noise will make sure that a bear actually will probably come over and mess with my camera. I thought that Cuddyback for some reason didn't have any clicking sound, but I guess maybe it does. Okay, so it's September 15th now, and uh, I would say I'm probably gonna let it go at least a week, if not more, just to see, probably a week, and uh, just come back here and see what kind of pictures I have. Hopefully my camera will still be here. <laughs> so walking out here, I just found yet another trail that comes, ties into that trail where I just put my camera. It's this place is loaded and you know hopefully I wish I had like five cameras but you know the cameras are expensive and uh, anyway check this trail out let's head on out here I gotta get to sleep been up since yesterday and uh, yeah I'm tired and I'm ready to go all right not sure if you can see me but it has been one week since I had this camera up here and I'm back and it's dark and uh, I'm just kind of sitting here in my car waiting, enjoying this uh, nice cup of coffee. <clears throat> so when it gets a little more light, I could show you, but it just looked like darkness. So I probably have, what, 10 minutes or so before it gets light enough for me actually to physically see a little further in the woods. So I'll just sit here, enjoy my cup of coffee, maybe watch a little YouTube and... Uh, Dream about the big bucks that are hopefully on the camera. We'll see. All right, well, as you can see, it's kind of getting a little more light out now. Um, so just a few minutes ago, um, I put my boots on, and uh, I've got rubber boots on today. And uh, I looked over there, and it was a red sky. You know what they say, red sky, come morning, sailor take warning. Well, it's not. I looked at the weather, and it's not supposed to rain for like, six more days so it's kind of crazy maybe I might get a passing shower but it's um it's completely clear out here which is really nice but we definitely need rain here so when I was really serious like really serious about deer hunting uh, I would always like uh, put my clothes in a trash can put bacon soda leaves pine needles bacon soda leaves pine needles and just stagger my stuff so everything would be impregnated in my um, my clothes and always wore um, good like rubber boots so and it's been a long time since I wore these boots and uh, got them on today they're uh, I think they're called Rocky Buckstalkers supposed to supposedly they don't leave your scent you know behind as you're in the woods but let me show what it look like uh, they're pretty nice waterproof of course and uh, they're very um, very warm so, they're not good for uh, really uh, hot days. So luckily it's not too hot today. It's about 66, I think, is what my uh, temperature gauge in the car said. <clears throat> All right, so coming up on it, it looks to me like the front of the uh, plate, you probably can't see here, but has been bent. So I'm assuming it's probably a damn bear. I'm going to go over here and see. Alright, so it was just a figment of my imagination. It is not bent, thank goodness. And, um, yeah, it doesn't even look like it's been screwed with. So, let's check this camera and uh, hopefully we have some pictures. Alright, well, I do have a few little bucks on here. Uh, Simple, I've been out here a week and has a turkey on here, and of course, me. But yeah, I've had trouble with this camera before, and it looks like there was a bear out here. All right, there's the turkey. There's another turkey. I'm assuming that's the bear. You can kind of see fur there. There's the old doe. There's an old spike. Same spike. There's the eight pointer. There's two other deer, and those two look like doe to me. So I was hoping for a massive buck, because this place right here is, to me, pretty well used. Now, this camera, I've had trouble with it before. Luckily, it took pictures, I can't believe it. But yeah, I will definitely hunt this, and I believe my tree of choice is that tree right back there. 
there's that tree right back there hi right, guys hopefully next time you see this little wooded area you'll see the deer hunt and hopefully you'll see me kill a deer um i usually say i don't kill things on my channel but uh you know this is a hunt it's not like trapping so i will you know show the kill i guess if you will uh i have a camera mount for my camcorder that as long as it's not raining i'll use if it's yeah, if it's even a chance of rain i'll just bring my gopro and uh uh yeah we'll go from there and um that way I can at least record something. <laughs> so, All right, well, if you like what you see here, like and subscribe. Uh, God bless. Wish me luck, and we'll see you on the next one, guys. Have a great day.